Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to this Unity lesson where we're going to be learning about the use of interfaces. So if you want a formal definition because maybe you have an exam or something, I really recommend you go and search it on Google because I'm not even sure of the formal definition of an interface, but I'm going to tell you how I use them in Unity. So the idea of an interface is we use an interface to define a set of functions that can be called from certain classes. I'm going to do something which is a very practical example. We're going to do something called clickable. So with this clickable interface, we can tell Unity that certain classes, I don't care if it's a sphere or if it is a cube, if they have the clickable property, that means that I can click on them and then they will have their own behavior. Please follow along with me and I think you will understand. Let's try to keep this as short as possible. So we're going to create two 3D objects. We're going to create a cube and we're going to create a sphere. Okay, so they are two different things, but they share a common property, which is we can click on them. All right, so how do we tell Unity? I want to be able to click on this and I want to be able to click on this but I want them to do different things when I click on them. So we are going to start by making a input controller. Okay, so we're going to make this input controller class and put it in our camera. And then we're in the update, we're going to do the following. If input or get mouse button up, that means if we click the mouse button, we're going to create a heat. We're going to create a ray from our camera to the mouse position. And then if that hit hit anything, we're going to debug the name of that object that we clicked on. So right now we have a sphere and we have a cube. So if we play this and we click on them, we're going to have the name printed on the console here, sphere, cube, sphere, Right now we're doing that, but we want them to have their own behavior when we click on them. So how we do this? Well, let's add two more classes. So to the cube, we're going to add a class called cube. For, same for the sphere, but we're going to add a class called sphere. And the last thing we want to do is here in, in our assets, we're going to create a new C sharp script called I clickable. Okay, so this is going to be our interface. Okay, let's go and open it up. Right now, iClickable is a class. So the, what we want to do is remove the mono behavior and we want to change class for interface. So we're going to go ahead and remove all these. We don't need it. A function called onClick. And just like that, we don't give it a body. If we give it a body, the compiler is going to return errors because anything that inherits the iClickable interface must define its own behavior on the onClick function. Now you will see what I mean. So let's go to the cube. And here we have already inherit mono behavior, which is a base class. Now we're going to also inherit an interface called I clickable. So I clickable here is going to tell unity. Okay. You can click on your cube. So you decide how you click on it. I don't know what actually clicks means. I just know that there is an interface called I clickable and inside that interface, there is a function called on click. So your cube must define on click for me so I can call it if it's clicked. So, what we do, we just type void on click and we define what will happen to the cube. So the cube could do something like uh, transform dot translate. Let's move it one unit to the right. Okay. So on click, we're going to move the cube one unit to the right. And then we do the same for the sphere. Inherit I clickable. But now my on click function for sphere is going to be different because they are different things. They do different things when they get clicked on. For this one, we're going to say transform dot local scale equals 
transform the local scale plus back to three 0.1 f 0.1 f 0.1 f so we want to scale it up by 0.1 in every axis sphere and then we can also do some debugging debug dot lot sphere dot on click was called and we will do the same for the cube okay now we have our function defined on click we have defined it on cube and we also have defined it on the sphere so they are different out oh, let me change this cube. so they are different and we want to call them but usually what well, what I used to do before I know about inheritance is maybe do a if is a sphere and then call sphere dot on click and then do if is a cube do the cube dot on click but right now what happened if I have a hundred different classes that can be clicked I cannot just go ahead and type if there is a box that is click and then else if is a sphere and then else if is triangle we cannot do this because if there is a million classes that can be clicked uh, we will do too many things so the best way to do this is using the i clickable interface and here it comes to the rescue so we're going to make a variable called clickable and that variable is of this type so clickable is equals to hit dot get uh, we cannot get a component directly hit dot transform dot get component and what components do we have do we want we want the i clickable all right so this it doesn't care if it is a cube or if it is sphere if the object contains a sphere which is i clickable we're going to get that if the is a cube we're going to get that it doesn't matter we just want to know if it's clickable or not so if clickable is not null we're going to call clickable dot on click because cube and sphere can both be clicked but we don't know which type it is we just want to call the on click of anything that is clickable i don't know if i'm making sense or not but okay um i haven't defined this properly this here should be public and this here should be public as well sorry about that so now we go ahead and play and there's no problem now we click on the sphere and you see sphere on click was called and if i keep clicking on it it's going to go bigger and if i click and if i click on the cube it's going to go to the right again and again and again so they do their respective functions their corresponding functions and we didn't have to do a switch or an if statement and else if else if for each case we just want to know are they clickable yes or not what happened if i want to get the clickable maybe I want to know if it's a cube or if it is a transform what we can do is use something like this um, I'm going to just make the example here so I can ask unity if clickable is cube like that so I can make room for a special case so cube must say something like debug dot log testing the is oh and we cannot do that so we do escape character so we can use this word here is to compare to check if clickable is a cube type and the other thing we can do is we know clickables have mono behavior in them so what we can do is if clickable is mono behavior 
Okay, because maybe we have something that is clickable, but it's not in mono behavior. We can do clickable dot uh, transform. Okay, let's say we want to get the transform. We cannot directly get the clickable dot transform because clickable is just an interface. But we can do, since we know that clickable is a mono behavior, we can do clickable as mm, mono behavior. And now we can get the transform because mono behaviors do have transform. So let's just debug the position. Debug.log transform.position. Yeah, so we use the is keyword to check if a clickable is actually some kind of type. And we use the as keyword to get that clickable as a specific class. So I'm not treating it as a clickable anymore in this part here, but I'm treating it as something that is mono behavior so I can get the transform. So again, if I don't have that as keyword, I cannot get clickable.transform because it does not know that clickable actually has a property called transform. So that's why I have to use the as keyword. So as mono behavior, and now I can get the transform.position. Run this one more time and see all of our debugs. So here we click sphere on click was called and then the position is minus two blah 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 and then cube was clicked and then testing the is function because this one is a cube. So if I click on the sphere, nothing happens. But if I click in the cube, testing the is keyword and the position keeps getting debugged here and again and again. So, so basically that's it. I hope you guys understand. I hope I didn't make it too complicated. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm going to make another video about inheritance um, in the terms of making a base class. But for now, remember to like this video, share it to your friends. If you have any questions, again, let me know in the comments. I will try to explain anything you don't understand. And I will see you on the next one. Adios.